guys, Christian Faulkner here. So this is kind of a test run, so I'm not going to be doing things like professionally. I don't have a professional camera. I don't have a camera person. I'm uh, hopefully having some help here in the future, uh, making some kind of like educational films about palms and other tropicals. Um, kind of a palm freak. I've been doing it for, you know, almost half my life. And uh, had a nursery, you know, did some uh, botanical garden work kind of around, around the state of Florida. I'm here in southwest Florida. And I kind of just wanted to do this to kind of educate people on how to grow palms, what a palm is, cultivation tips. Um, hopefully coming out with a book relatively soon, depending on how, how much effort I put into finishing it. It's uh, about halfway there, maybe a little bit more. We're, we're almost uh, kind of on the edge of a storm here, so it's nice and cool out. It's, it's summertime in Florida, so you kind of get out in the morning when there's cloudy. You don't want to be out here when it's 95 and you know the sun is beating down on you. Anyway... Let's get to what a palm is. There are a lot of plants that look like palms, or have the common name of palm, but they aren't a palm. They're not in the Ericaceae family, or palmae family. Palmae is not... I, Ericaceae is a family. Uh, palmae is a, like a subfamily, I believe. I have to double check that. I'm not as much of a science guy as I am kind of like a hands-on guy. So, um, Anyway, let's get to... What's a palm? What, what is a palm? Well, a palm is a monocot. A monocot is called the prince of all grasses. And so, in the end, a palm is just a large, large blade of grass growing up that a, that looks like a tree. And they're very ornamental. They're very neat. They provide a lot of uses in uh, a lot of economic uses, a lot of ornamental landscape uses. Uh, and for food as well for a lot of people in the world. So it's a very important plant. In fact, I can't think of a whole lot of plants that are actually more important than palms in this world. So anyway, now what I have in front of me is is commonly misidentified as a palm. It's actually a cycad, which is a coning plant where palms are flowering plants. So this plant here is a, it will grow up and now when palms, let me get around here. When palms grow out of their growing point up top, um, called their meristem, they will grow one spear at a time. Now when this decides to grow, it will flush out multiple leaves at a time, and it will produce a cone when mature to produce seed. Now palms don't do that. They put out a flower bract. I'm sorry, yeah, a flower bract. To, that will pollinate and produce seed that will drop down. So no cones for palms. Um, Another plant we have here is, uh, this is commonly known as the ponytail palm. Now, again, this is not a palm, but it has the appearance of it. It kind of has the leaf, uh, uh, leaflets growing out. And, uh, sorry, it looks kind of sickly. It's just planted in a little bit too wet of an area. But it kind of has the look of a palm. People think it's a palm. People say, hey, get rid of this palm. It's not a palm. Um, it's a cactus or a succulent. Uh, so it holds all its water in there. Um, it does put out a flower. Uh, there's a spent flower up there, but it's still in the palm world. You want to you want to know what a palm is. Now, this right here is a large, common palm in Florida, at least south south southern Florida. This is called the fishtail palm. It has fishtail-like leaves. It's clumping. Now, not all palms clump. Um, I would say. Two-thirds of palms are solitary and one-third clumps, something like that, if you want to go through all the species, but it's not uncommon at all, obviously. Uh, so you have multiple trunks here, but if you look up, you can kind of see the leaflets kind of grow out um, from the top. The, the It'll put out a spike. That spike will open, and when it opens, it'll let, that leaf will kind of come out and kind of hang out on the horizon. It depends on the palm, but sometimes they're very upright, sometimes they're very... Uh, floppy so for example right there you can kind of see the profile that's a queen palm it's another common palm here in central and south florida and its leaves kind of they'll hang up a little bit but they're they're kind of droopy so here's a little juvenile coconut now this is a kind of like a rescue thing uh, a friend had a plant and i decided to plant it in the ground and it's very wet here so i'm trying to just get it going um, but you can see this one spear comes out at a comes out at a time it's growing straight out of the seed and it um 
it has, <coughs> excuse me, this is a pinnate palm, where pinnate palms are basically feather palms, palmate palms are fan, like fan leaf palms. Now, I'm trying to look out on the, on the horizon here down the street, and I can't see any palmate palms, but um, like the palmetto, a lot of people are familiar with, that is a fan palm. It has more of a fan type leaf. There's one right there. It's kind of, you can kind of see the profile of it. That's a uh, Mexican fan palm, or we'll call it Washingtonia. Another common plant, but uh, don't mind that being bent over. That's just, uh, <laughs> it grew to the side at one point in its life. Another rescue plant. I kind of like to work with rescue plants, try to get them to, I, I hate to see plants, um, you know, be thrown out. So, anyway, that is the basis of a palm. Has It grows from seed. Uh, there are very few that can actually grow from clumping pieces, although it can be done, which is, you know, but basically almost all are grown from seed. Um, they have spears that come out from the meristem. They open, and when mature, they flower and produce seed. Um, not all palms produce seed, are, are self-pollinating. Some require a male and a female. Uh, I would say the majority of them are self-pollinating, something about 70% or so, maybe even more. But it's important to know these things so you know, okay, well, if I'm looking at this plant and I know it's, I see a flower, then hey, you know, that, that could be a palm. If, it, if it's growing multiple leaves at one time, then it's not a, uh, it's not a palm. Uh, they can put out multiple spears that don't open, but one spear will come out at a time. And uh, other things, you can kind of see that, yeah, it's, I guess it's kind of, it's kind of dark. I wish it were, wish a little bit more light here. I could show you some more. But um, there is a uh, flower bract. We're in so windy here. There's a flower bract um, kind of coming out there. You can kind of see the bract. It, it puts out a seed pod. Um, it's called the peduncular bract. It's not, that's not necessarily, you don't need to know that, but that's what kind of puts out the flower that pollinates, puts out the seed. And um, that is what will, uh, that's what will grow a new palm. So there are many types. Um, there, obviously there's the pinnate type as you can see. I don't have any palmate types in the yard, but I guess I showed you the other one. Um, other things that kind of look like palms, here's some more small cy cycads. This is uh, native to the Bahamas. There's a Florida version of it. Um, and uh, here's another cycad. Again, uh, I'll be able to do this. I have like a 10 minute cap in my video, unfortunately. It's just, this is just my phone, so. Um, I can't really get into depth about a lot of what a palm is and what a palm, what what aren't palms and what what they actually are. So we go to the side here. This is kind of like a rescue center. The side of the house. Excuse the uh, the mess. <laughs> but these are actually mostly cycads here. Um, a lot of them are flushing out, and uh, they. They're very hardy, but they're not, they have palm-like leaves. You can see that, I see this, but when they make new leaves, they make them uh, multiple at a time, and they cone. They're not, they're not related, but they're probably the most commonly, uh, they, they, they are commonly, you know, considered palms when they're actually not. They have common names that are called, say, sago palm or cardboard, cardboard palm. In reality, they don't have any, uh, affiliation to them all except for visual so kind of getting a close-up there the fishtail leaves you can kind of see it kind of has that fish tail to it hence the name so anyway this is just a, a start move you know, a, uh, a first first dry run for me putting videos up on say YouTube or other uh, channels and just want to kind of put that education out there uh, how to grow palms what palms are what species there are so I hope you guys enjoy this and um, there will be more to come in the future. So anyway, have a good evening, and see you soon.